Welcome to Darren Daily On Demand, your most trusted resource to help you become better every day. Here's your success mentor, Darren Hardy. Back in 2015, I featured the famous Coach K of Duke University on the cover of Success Magazine. Coach K has won more basketball games than any other coach in basketball history, including four NCAA championships. When I featured him, it was a few years after he coached and won the gold medal in the 2012 Summer Olympics in London with the United States men's national basketball team. Coach K talked about his first meeting with the team. When he walked into the room, there sat LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Carmelo Anthony, Chris Paul, Kevin Durant, Kevin Love, and several other superstars. The head of U.S. basketball, Jerry, made the first speech to the team. Jerry talked about the players needing to leave their egos at the door and such and such and such. When Coach K spoke next, he said, this will be the only time that I will disagree with Jerry, but I don't want you to leave your egos at the door. Bring them in with you. Your egos make you who you are, and I want you to be you. He looked at LeBron and said, LeBron, I want you to be LeBron. He looked at Kobe and said, Kobe, I want you to be Kobe. And then he went down the list. He said, when we play these other teams, you bet they're gonna bring their egos. Then he made two really fantastic distinctions that I wanna share with you here this morning. One, he said, I want you to bring your individual egos and put them all under the USA umbrella. We are a team here, a team of really talented players. Be you, but be us in this. Play for one ego, and that is the United States. Coach K held up his hand. He said, this is our team. Each one of these is valuable, useful, and needed for different functions. And when each of us comes together like this, that is when we are powerful. Now we can punch the competition out. It is hard to do that with just one finger and two. You are not playing for the USA. Admittedly, this confused the players. Now Jerry was wondering whether he should have hired an NBA pro coach. Coach K continued, you are not playing for the USA. You are the USA. You are USA basketball. Understand the difference. You are the USA. The difference is huge. Be the name on the front of the jersey the U.S. of A, and they will remember the name on the back of the jersey. No matter who you lead, you don't want people playing or working for you or for your team or for your company. You want them to understand they are the team. They are the company. That is how you teach and cultivate leadership. As Coach K put it, I don't want them playing for me or for Duke. I want them being Duke in everything that they do. When they understand that level of ownership, it imbues pride, self-identity, self-responsibility, and ownership in every aspect of the result. So today, change the relationship your people have with you. They don't work for you. They don't work for your company. They are the company. Parents, change the relationship your kids have with you. They aren't a member of the family. They are the family. Church leaders, change the relationship you have with your congregation. They aren't members of the church. They are the church. You see, the semantics might seem subtle, but the mindset difference is huge. 